Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we to see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, most out of today's news. I'm a Glenn Johnson, will be one of the football pundits we did for town now. So Baba don't come as I can they analyze the Premier League return, they talk about many, many matches. So we're going to talk about Arsenal versus West Ham, where they will play for the Emery Stadium on December 26th, will be the Boxing Day. So Baba can talk say this will be West Ham opportunity to beat Arsenal because in they see West Ham defeating Arsenal as long as Arsenal no gets Gabriel Jesus. In fact, he can go one step further when they expand sheets. Can they talk say sure that this is the best time for anybody to play Arsenal because an Arsenal without a Gabriel Jesus is like a toothless bulldog. Say in short, in they expect West Ham to beat Arsenal. No, so this is not buttress my point, so I don't make a very, very long time ago. I talk say a lot of people are praying for Arsenal to be losing. If you don't know that one, no one right now you get once if God forbid those we lose against West Ham, many people will call for Arsenal ahead. They will talk a lot of things about Arsenal, and we must make sure say you see that return or oh, the return. It is very, very important. Now we're shaping our momentum going into the next five game so what we play against West Ham then go partially or directly or indirectly dictates how we go play against next week because we will play against a West Ham and we lose maybe Man City can't win our five points gap now don't turn to two points now we will use panic go enter the next game the next game will be Brighton we will enter there now we will drop points and Man City can't win now so panic will be set before we know now five points will take the gap they will come turn to now we will come there behind there with some few points so winning that match at the Emirates is very very crucial like we, it's a do or die encounter we must make sure say we win that match because many many points both those are the talk now and those are the silence everybody is going to be keeping a close eye on that match to see how Arsenal will play the second stanza of the league of the season for the next two months get without a Gabriel Jesus how we go fair now what's many people will watch out for so we said and they watch them out so we can see because we don't check statistics say chances created that many many people they create chances created for Arsenal don't check goal conversion Many many people they score goals. Nobody saying that one person they rely on for goals. Shaka they score, the guy they score, Saka they score, Martinelli they score. You get everybody they put in their own best, even from the defense. Remember, the guy they said they chip in your own. You get so everybody is scoring. That's one great thing about this Arsenal side. This is a proper team, not a one man show. You get so we we'll just see how they go put in that collectiveness against this West Ham and make sure they beat West Ham because West Ham self, some of their players self they missing. Nobody saying that only Arsenal side. That is why when Glenn Johnson make that statement, I was taking a back because you wait they look at the season we get some injuries you don't look at uh, West Ham people like you look at the Skamaka they are not playing called Zuma will be their Zuma rock for the defense he's not playing so you don't look down and say that will feel affect them now only ask them where they look on a one-sided punditry now as a pundit you get you're supposed to not get biased you're supposed to be objective unlike me we say i get a small bias for us now because i'm an Arsenal fan but you will be saying that general punditry they do you're not supposed to be biased now so away from that, so Fabrizio Romano don't come outside and let us know say Arsenal never hold talks with Nicolo Zaniolo of Roma. You know, say many many news media outlets don't say Arsenal don't open talks, Arsenal won't sign up. In fact, they asked that they prepared 25 million pounds to sign the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Romano they come outside and let us know say Arsenal don't even get any plans to even discuss with the guy in the future, let alone signing him. Yeah, so, Baba just they kill that rumor, they put him to bed, say Arsenal don't look the guy. But me personally, I would like me to sign the guy because the guy, you know, the, the issue when he gets with Roma, now just salary issue, he want 4.5 million, uh, Roma says they offer him 4 million, so they, they drag the extra 500 with it there. Well, anywhere they go, I don't say Arsenal feel no bad video, but they are interested, they are just watching, they are monitoring, just like Antonio Conte said, they just monitor the guy, maybe they see how they will they resolve their internal crisis, if they don't resolve and way, and then third parties cannot come and bid for him, so let's just see how that one said go. Our Palmeiras president, something that they call Lila Mejdalani, don't come outside and let everybody know. Say, we never received any bid for Danilo because we've heard many, many stories in the press. People say they want to offer a bid, this one say they want to sign, and that one say they never received any bid, no consultations. Nobody don't come for the guy say they want to release really so she just want to set the record straight. Maybe nobody can talk say and uh, Daniel they go somewhere because they don't say ask now. We are interested in him in the past. We say that one no work. They come for Douglas Lewis. That one self no work. 
So they come on day they are day. But now, when transfer window don't they come, no matter the links will come back again. So when I ask them, I'll go back for that. Imagine the, the media is linking us with the flower which because we went for him in the past, it didn't work, he went to Juventus. Now, in the, uh, how many months waiting for Juventus? Juventus won't get crisis, internal financial crisis. Now, the guy that looks, say, maybe go find greener pastures, go another place. Well, I never really know more just to watch. I'm a surprise, surprise, Richard Lissin, don't they set to miss the North London Derby where they will play for the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on January 15, Spurs versus Arsenal. So, according to Conte, the guy get hamstring injury will keep him out for five to six weeks. Whether he will recover miraculously, come play that match, I don't really know because one notable absence for that match, time be Gabriel Jesus. Ah, and now one of the matches will be saying, I don't put my mind, see, I want to see how this match they go like. Tottenham Most versus Arsenal, the, the Tottenham Most versus the I'm on, I, I get huge expectation for that match, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. The Brazilians go miss the match. So, Richard is missing the match. Said, well, we still, I think there's still other people. They get Son, they get K, they get Lucas Moura, they get Kulusevski. So, uh, Richard is missing. It's not really a big deal for them. Well, now we and I are one really affected because we have our main number nine. Richard is going to be even their first 11 step. So, it'll be like it's not really very, very pivotal to them. Well, it is what it is. On my man, your petit self don't come and say, I advice a do Gaspar and Ateta them talk say, if Nahim be a do, so then go make sure say, inside this Macalista he gets, this Alexis Macalista where they play for Brighton and we also play for Argentina, we help Argentina win the World Cup. So the guy is a very, very phenomenal central attacking midfielder. The guy don't score one goal for the World Cup and for the league, he don't score like five goals. The guy is playing very very well. I just like the link up play between him and maybe the strikers. The guy they play very well. I don't believe himself, even Trossard, they play very, very well. Some people have the opinion say make Arsenal even go sign Trossard. Yeah, so Brighton, they know how to bring up good good players. Not just that, even Moses Casado. Many people don't link Arsenal themselves, say make Arsenal go sign and make him replace Thomas Party. So I never really know how it will be. So Arsenal signing McAllister for me, I celebrate that signing, say make it go away. But you know at Teta and at Teta, they always do sometimes contrary to the top because the way he sees things is practically different from the way we will with the CM we get so in now get the coaching license time be the gaffer we are just punditry business we did yes we analyze things whatever he does we analyze it look at the positives and look at the negatives get criticizing constructively and not destructively so that is our main job and we are the fans of the club so either way we are here to support him so more just see whether they will listen to the advice of this our legend do the talk to me they will sign Alexis McAllister of Brighton we help Argentina all also win the World Cup you get and if one will sign up how much it thinks Brighton will slap for the guy head go reach that guy 15 16 million pounds because Brighton know you play when it comes to putting big big money so Arsenal play indoor friendly yesterday with Luton Town Luton FC waiting for the championship and they play 0-0 and people like Bukayo Saka Martinelli they don't come back to Arsenal so they played a part in that match you get we did some kind of rotations we played to everybody like just want to give them some kind of match fitness for the city shops more heading into January the festive period now because on Sunday is Christmas then on Monday we are playing this West Ham side and lo and behold today is Thursday so now in a few days now Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday in a few days now we will hit the ground running that is why I thought I thought it's wise to let the boys be match fit to get me a little day a bit rust especially those who don't play for the World Cup we look on day around again so people with the expect if he missed the match that Saliba because we've not seen Saliba Saliba did in post holiday so Saliba is likely to miss that match or maybe he will come nine minutes completely because he's not even used at all for the World Cup how many games he played nobody that came a room game Saliba not really stress himself now so I never know how it go be so that's why the losing town game 0-0 they're not too poor body for me I don't feel say they don't want to get injury or anything she's gonna indoor friendly now they just do some kind of rough one, one, one out Martinelli day Saka day Kitty at the you know everybody that is somebody apart from Gabriel Jesus and maybe Rhys Nelson, then the rest were present and Saliva. We know they get so let's just see how it goes because you see that Monday game, that nice game, so you see that Monday game, I'm gonna do or die. So, away from that, so Vlaovic agents they're gonna ask him about offers from abroad like Arsenal and other clubs. So, Baba Kato say, as the situation be now, say, you know, they will rule out anything, you get. If now before that, they will say, they're not interested, but well, this one, they know they will rule out anything because Arsenal don't already hold talks with the agents, they don't sign Vlaovic. You know, Vlaovic said, don't come outside, they explain why he chose Juventus over Arsenal. I don't know that now because of. Arsenal interest and making pacify Arsenal fans because many many fans they talk to you. She's been like this guy with the before. 
And baby that die in matter that we know one time. So the guy don't explain, say no man no man, say Juventus tradition, you no. Know? And I saw it be all those Serie A stars, they had aim and ambition and to end up for Juventus. In the past too, when I say Inter Milan said long beer, Napoli said long beer, it's Milan long beer. So Juventus is no longer the holy grail. If you go for German football, majority of the players there, they have major ambition and to end up for Bayern Munich. If not before you go say Bayern Munich and Dortmund, but now nah, Bayern Munich be the main coco. So that's what it just be. If you go for La Liga, most players there, they have major ambition and to end up for Barca and Real Madrid. So that's what it just be. Now only for England, you go see say um, many many people there with the tear over I get asked that they sports they man you day, Liverpool day, Man City day, Chelsea day, like Newcastle can run join the elites now. So I say just be nobody saying I want pivotal points, I want pivotal team that they control everything. Say if you don't join me, you don't go succeed for life. No, no, so. So away from that, so Michael Arteta they do one interview. So for the interview, the they ask him about Arsenal and the way within the run since and their position in the first place in the EPL table. So I thought I was saying we deserve where we are now presently because we worked hard to be there. So everybody they talk say maybe we don't deserve our positions. The person need to look at the table and see how many games we won in 14 games, we won 12, drew one, and lost one. So this is something that calls for great accolades. Yes. So everybody got to thank Ateta for what they do. And don't forget that Ateta celebrated his three-year anniversary in two years ago, then two days ago. Yes. We celebrate them so people gonna analyze they evaluate how we take fair because all those kind of internal crisis like going they handle get doozy and um, mess with oz all those kind of Bamiyang and you know all those kind of little, little things how they reduce the wage bill so we discussed all those yesterday if you never watch i've checked the show on our channel you see it so at the end of the day we'll thank him for whatever he's done like even self uh, ogaman himself when he talks to the guy reunified the club and the fans brought back the fans the fans come pay their money and shout at the top of their lungs come on man what, 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 what else can you ask for so now what's in the apple for the emirates now the emirates stadium is now a fortress that nobody can breach you get so all the games we don't play for the emirates stadium i don't think we've lost any so we're playing very very well now so just give the gaffer good like a mad accolade to get and make the croakers reinvest in the club like what's in baba sato talk the small way then give him plenty buy they can't give him plenty plenty money high things he go to transform this thing so all he needs right now is money look at how they are pumping money at manchester united chelsea you get do the same at arsenal give him money if not 200 million give him this general the more make sure say we buy the square put them in pegs and put them in the square holes and end up winning the league or even qualifying for a top four let's see how things go so away from that, so the London Evening Standard, don't come outside the talk, say Chelsea and Arsenal were offered Matthew Kunha where they play number 9 for Atletico Madrid, so Chelsea and Arsenal rejected him, that they don't want him, so he should go, that is why Wolves now can't sign the guy with a loan, a, a, on a loan with an obligation to buy, because many men put on the ad, say why Arsenal logo for Matthew Kunha where they available, at least we could have taken him on loan too, you get, and it will not cost us anything with an obligation, maybe at the end of the season, they will pay the money, instead of using only Edin Ketia as the out and out striker we have and converting the certain Martinelli to play that center forward. So these are the opinions of a lot of people out there. Well, I think I don't know why they reject this uh, guy deal. Yes, maybe you know fits our philosophy. You know, it's no fit the kind of project we want run here. Maybe he doesn't know how to press. I don't really know. Well, we'll just continue to the South Central. About Kevin Campbell, so if we'll be one of our senior pundits and former Arsenal players, so if don't come outside the talk, say Arsenal need to sign Marcos Turam, you get because he brings something different in the field of play. He's very strong, he's physical, he's big. This guy is almost as tall as Saliba, he's 1.92. You get the guy, they very, very, very tall. You get that's why I myself I like the way with the guy they play. So, by the talk, say we can't leave only the cater to the handle everything. We need somebody that brings something different. We need physicality up there. Someone like a cater for me he will be bullied you get any day any time defenders will be bully him if not for pace hey, if he outrun them but when it comes to like jack bar to drag for ball they will bully and come out but a certain mark of you can't bully him and the sweet part about this mark of is the fact that this guy comes for cheap because his contract expires in the next six months so Borussia Mönchengladbach when they play for don't slap 10.5 million pounds on his head
head. So anybody wants to sign and see the money will go bill instead of him to go out on the free. So this is something that Arsenal can afford. Take the risk, their life is all about risk. Instead of using only educator, go and spend 11 million pounds, get a certain Marcos Turam and risk him. And I quite check the guy's statistics this season for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Gladbach. He played 15 games and he scored 10 goals. That was why he was selected to represent France in the World Cup. So if France, the De Deschamps, the coach of France, can select him and take him to the biggest stage in country football, who are we not to sign him? That's the question Ateta alone can answer. At the same time, so Ateta got a plan to help Isco to regain in form because Isco, they don't say in contract for Sevilla after four months. He just joined you know, four months after joining with the coach called the get issue. I don't know what it's up. So the coach don't say in contract. Isco is now a free agent. So Ateta the reason to bring him onto squad depth level. Moku just at this game, my man, for the bench. If not for Europa League, go to play main, they play for also. I never know how it could be, whether they will really activate them. I've been mean, just talk his cheap, you get because there's a difference between getting interested on the player and actually going to the whole hall and pay money for the player. And this is why we say no go pay money to anybody, and just salary go just give a baba go enter, sign contract, ASAP, you get so we just keep a close eye on that Isco deal. I'm a Dean Jones, Seth, don't come outside the talk, say Arsenal, they feel say they get a real chance of signing Ferran Torres. You get, this is Ferran Torres day for Barcelona, the guy that supports to requirements, so that like the second name in the pecking order for there, you know, really they happy. And the guy is just like 23 years old. That the guy that wing are naturally, but for back at the day, they use him as a false nine or number nine if you like, before they come by Lewandowski. So now we say Arsenal need a winger, they need, I think they need squad depth, mad ones. So they say Arsenal the reason the guy to bring him back to the England because he was playing for Man City before they come carry and go for that Barcelona. And the guy, when it comes to pace, the guy get good pace, it's very, very good and tricky. So whether this thing self, like other the other deals, whether it will come to fulfillment, nobody knows. About that, I talk is cheap. Everything at this January. Because anything you know happen for January, don't feel happy for summer again because I thought I get one kind of spirit. Even go for you, I no agree. Or more, before you come for you again, <laughs> you go tell you how at least how I can testify. So my dear football lovers, if you don't watch us, you should check the top left corner of your screen. You will see the thumbnail. Click on so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So start you signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day and game out.